Hello, hello, and welcome to my week ahead for the 2nd to the 8th of October 2023. My name is Bridget from bridgesastrology.com.au, and here is my week ahead. Let me share my screen. All right, amazing. Okay, so Monday morning we get up and we've got a Taurus moon, and it's coming up to conjunct Jupiter at half past 12 during the day. Now, you know, um, we can expect a level of understanding, um, you know, um, we could find some just general joy, good mood, we might want to, you know, uh, indulge in some food, Jupiter is definitely the planet of excess, and you know, Taurus likes food, comfort, security, finances, you know, it might be a great day to have a look at your budgets, now Venus has been, Venus rules Taurus and Libra, and with the sun in Libra, and this week Venus exits her shadow, we can hopefully hold on to a lot of the lessons that we've been learning in the last 16 weeks. So like I said, if it does look like doing a budget or going outside for an adventure, we could start a simple exercise routine. You know, we have done a lot of um, self-awareness work and with the sun's transit through Virgo hopefully we picked up some healthy habits along the way so you know this might be a great day to get out have an adventure you know when the moon moves past Jupiter and starts to conjunct Uranus we're just we could also just be looking for a new way of doing things as well so overall um, you know it looks to be a really nice day okay so let's move on to Tuesday all right, so Tuesday we could have, all right, so Tuesday morning we have um, a few aspects. In the morning we have the moon square Saturn, so you might wake up going, oh my God, I've got to do that thing, but that's okay because it passes quite quickly. Uh, there's a sextile to Neptune, so we could, I don't know, maybe harness an overall appreciation or find some deeper meaning or you know maybe we can feel some empathy or connection to get the thing that we thought was hard done you know at 9 30 we also have a trine starting to mercury so you know if it felt difficult in the morning we could have a realization and then um overall we get it and then we can start moving into things all right, so another way to maybe look at this is to put a plan in action on paper where we can potentially remember some of the things that we've been learning in the last couple of weeks and also weed out any of the details that may not be relevant. You know, we, we're doing a lot of letting go of old stories at the moment, so it could be one of those things where we're just moving through things with a little bit more clarity. Mercury is still... Um, in Virgo so we're able to analyze the details and if you can see here on the screen we've got this beautiful earth grand trine it is only fleeting during the day but again you know we could be choosing to do things in a different way because of all the things that we've been learning and with the trine to Pluto in Capricorn we're transforming our foundations so again you know lessons old foundations transforming them into something new moon uranus there's just stuff changing but you know we can also move through our discomfort you know taurus likes comfort and security but we are looking for new ways of doing things and breaking through old barriers and finding balance at the same time okay let's move on to wednesday Okay, so Wednesday we have a lovely air grand trine, all right? So we're, we're going to be a bit more of a thinky day. The moon has moved into Gemini in sort of four o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday. So we wake up and we're, we're able to think uh, things a little bit more. Um, you know, we're looking for balance. Now, Mars is also conjunct that uh, conjunct the south node in Libra. So potentially watch for some volatile conversations that may instigate the release of of things but um you know overall we're working with our well-being and what is good for us all right so that hydrea and aquarius it is looking at what's good for everyone but you know are my hopes and dreams part of my holistic well-being you know, so there's, there's, we are looking for balance. We are communicating to find that balance. Now, Lilith is also, has been 
playing with Venus during this whole trip. And we have been learning to speak up for ourselves and say the things that we normally wouldn't have said, you know, drop the good girl, good boy persona and just be brave and say stuff. All right. Now, Saturn, I'm just looking as we go, Saturn in Pisces here, you know, um, he's retrograde right now and he does reward for effort. So we've, we've understood things during his first part in this first pass in the first part of Pisces. And so in his review, he might be looking at these subconscious structures that we have, just like Pluto is transforming our, our, our foundations. Saturn is looking at our subconscious beliefs and working on them. So, you know, maybe the details, like I said, that we wouldn't normally say are coming up and they're part of this Mars conjunct the South node in Libra. What about partnerships? Do you need to release? All right. So again, communication is the key here, being honest and your own version of the truth or like your experience is your truth. So just say these things that normally would go unsaid. All right, now also on Wednesday, we have Venus in conjunct to Neptune at quarter past 11 a.m. So just be careful that we don't have any sort of frivolous spending or flippant comments. Maybe, and like I know I said that there could be angry words, but don't be maybe petty in, you know, in the way that you're speaking. You know, we don't want any unwarranted attacks just so that we hurt the person we're trying to talk to I don't know I didn't really plan that one but that felt like that's what I was sort of coming out with all right let's go to Thursday it's a quick one this week all right Thursday now we are at Mercury is at 29 degrees of Virgo so we could be really digging deep into the into the the details it might feel like it's a little bit of a rush to get all of our understanding both out on the table and spoken, because the moon is still in Gemini. Um, you know, uh, now I have written here also, before rushing headlong into making decisions, make sure you have at least most of the facts. You know, I, I don't feel like at this time we're going to have all of the facts, but that's okay as long as it feels right and you mostly know what you're doing. I know that's a bit random, but, you know, you can still... You can still act upon things, you know, maybe with the potential that some little things might change as more details come out, but that's okay. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and just remember it is a journey, not a race. Okay. Um, also, uh, just as part of the Mars conjunct the South Node, again with the are there still things left unsaid, unforgiven, irretrievable? You know, we're looking for growth. So let it go, let it flow and see what happens. Okay. So we're up to Friday. All right. So Friday is another one saying express yourself honestly. All right. We have Venus in conjunct Pluto. You know, look at the theme during this week. Say the things that normally go unsaid. You know, it's really important that, you know, Venus rules love. Pluto is those things that are coming up from the depths. Sun in Libra, our relationships, you know, um, Mercury is now at is now in Libra, you know, so he is also trying to find balance within himself. So maybe, you know, part of the south node in Libra, north node in Aries is, you know, we are releasing ourselves from codependency and enmeshment in relationships so that we can head down our own path as better individuals. So... I'm sure you get where I'm going with all of this. You know, we've also got the moon in cancer. So we're, you know, we're doing it to nurture ourselves as well. We're caring for our family. We're fighting for the things that we love. So, um, you know, if there is a little bit of tension around, just ground yourself today, step back, take a minute. And, um, you know, just remember that some of the things that we're dealing with right now have been set in motion previously all right so things are unfolding and like I was saying with yesterday we might not have all the details but we can at least start and know that we're heading in the right way okay so let's go forward to Saturday 
All right, so Saturday. Today marks the end of Venus's shadow. All right, she went into her shadow at 28 degrees, 11 seconds of Leo. She's now past that point, and so that story has finished. All right, so we want to tell it as it is. As soon as it comes up, all right, this is one of the things that she's been learning in addition to the speaking up for yourself is letting go of the things that no longer give you a sparkly feeling. You are the queen. She's going to move into Virgo soon. So you might as well harness that power that she has gained during her whole retrograde cycle, which was like from sort of mid-June onwards. And, you know, just just remember your worth, all right? So, you know, we want equality. We want balance. You know, we, we're not satisfied with just being a lesser part of a team anymore all right so um shine your own light brightly and be yourself unapologetically you are responsible for your life and all that is in it so own that okay now uh i've just noticed here too you know this lilith she's 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 in there and she's in a trine to the north node and conjunct chiron so part of our healing and part of our way forward is to bring up those things that were previously um, squashed in us, you know, those hidden things. So speak loudly, speak bravely. That sextile to Mars is giving you the bravery to stand up and be equal. Okay. Let's go through to Sunday. All right. So Sunday, the moon moves into Leo at 10.24. So we start off uh, with the moon in conjunct Saturn, all right? So we might feel like there's something a little bit tough in the morning. Um, we could also find ourselves, you know, the moon has started to conjunct Mercury and is opposing Chiron. So it may feel a little bit hard and we may find ourselves reminiscing about past experiences. Uh, part of the Chiron thing is to try and find the good memories, all right? We don't want ourselves spiraling down because it all feels like too much and we're not looking for the we're not looking for the golden jewels that we gathered during our time of retroflective, um, you know, when we were in the dark. We must have found some gems there. Look for those ones, all right? Your mental landscape is yours alone. So we've got that Mercury trine hygieia, which is our mental health. You know, do what is good for you. Be unapologetic. You know, Venus is face, starting to face off here with Saturn. You know, her strength that she's going to take with her as, you know, the, the green goddess, this nature aspect that we're going to be getting uh, on Monday when she moves into Virgo, she's opposing Saturn. She's challenging those old, old stories, you know, so you can definitely rewrite the narrative, you know. Saturn's going to be moving forward shortly. How do you want these new chapters to look? You know, we're almost at the midpoint of the sun in Libra, you know. Um, you know, we're finding balance. We're, we're gaining strength and clarity in our lives. So, you know, I've written here, your mental landscape is yours alone and transforming it into a lush garden rather than a desert is in your power. Plant the seeds and tend to them daily. So, you know, what you're focusing on is what you're going to attract. So just remember that, you know, stand in your power and do all the good things that you deserve and based on the lessons that you have recently been learning. Okay, so... I will stop my share. So thank you if you're still here right now. It is a week where we are speaking up for ourselves, remembering our power, being equal. Uh, you know, know your worth. All of the all of the Venus lessons that we have gained this week. So if you have enjoyed this and you would like a personal reading, then you can go over to my website, bridgetsastrology.com.au, click on the booking link, and that'll give you some options. And I'm around next week. So give us a call. Okay. Thank you.